Welcome to Manila Mayhem Bar Hop Edition. We're here with Henny Strahowski featuring H&J. Uh, Henry, tell us about H&J. Tell us about uh, everything that's happened here. Well, H&J started out as Hagman Jack many years ago. I'm almost 20 years old, uh, already. Um, wow, 20 years. Yeah, well, 18, 18 and a half, 19. I feel old. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you see what it looks like from my, my side. <laughs> um, uh, it started out 20 years ago. It's basically a trendy place. Like the popular bars back then were giraffes. Yeah. Abby Keys. Yeah, I remember Giraffe. You won't remember Giraffe. Uh, I don't think I was born. Yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> okay, now I'm feeling it. But you know, it's evolved over the years and turned it into a sports bar now. And it's become the football bar. Uh, okay. Because we were one of the first to bring in uh, satellite dish. Yeah. And the Premier League. Yeah, I used to remember. We used to watch all our Real Madrid games here versus oh, yeah. Barcelona. This is this is the place to be. Of course, also. But it's evolved since then. It's moved. It's oh, yeah. it's turned. Uh, before you were never known as a restaurant. Now you actually are known as a restaurant. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Um, well, we developed our menu around our guests, basically. Of course, we we get a lot of Brits, Australians, uh, Europeans, uh, but we also have a, a big clientele of Indians who work with the call center industry. Mm -hmm. So we 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 have. We feature a lot of Indian dishes on our, inter our, our in Indian menu and our, our international menu. We have a mixed bag, more or less European, America, everything. Also, one thing I used to remember about this place was it was uh, heavy into the sports bar and it evolved into a bar bar and then it became a family bar. What would you say it is now? It's still a family bar. You know? I mean, even if we're open at the early hours of the morning, in the early part of the evening, people bring their, their kids, their, their wives, their girlfriends. Um, it's open to everyone. Fantastic. And how many years, I mean, you guys used to be on Jupiter Street, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. And how many years have you been here on Felipe Street? We're, we'll be three years this coming April 22nd, I believe. Oh! So that's our big third anniversary. Yeah. And how would you say it has changed since when you first came here to where it is now? Well, uh, the street in itself. The street in itself has Felipe changed quite street. a bit. Yes, yeah. Felipe Street. Um, before it was, this was a, this was a rich, this location was a piano bar. And um, they, they did okay, but it wasn't. It didn't carry the kind of product we did. Yeah. Now across the street was before Chupacabra. It was Mexicali's dispensary or commissary. Mm. So if you if you called in for an order, that's where it came from. Ah, okay. So that was like their main kitchen, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this place used to be. If you go even further back, it was residential. Yeah. This was an extension. Oh yeah. And Absolutely. it evolved. Now it's 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 a mini Bangkok. It's a mini Thai right here exactly. and there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I would say Malate. Yeah, it's the new Malate. Yeah. Well, people talk about the gentrification of Makati's red light district. Yeah, this was part of that one yeah. time. But now it's now it's got um, you've got tea rooms, you've got these pop-up. Yeah, we've noticed. We've noticed. It's become more wholesome all the yeah. yeah. 